What's up guys? Today is going to be a very deep thought video. This all started with someone posting something on their Facebook page about entrepreneurs, how to start a business. And I went to the video and it was very, very frustrated because I know what it takes to start a business. And there was none of this information in this video. It was all about, there was a Ferrari and they drove the Ferrari. And that was like the first nine minutes of the video, 14 minutes of the video. Then they start drinking and then they start talking about stuff. And I was getting impatient because I was waiting to hear the real clues of how to start a business. And I just didn't get this stuff. I didn't get this stuff. I heard I did this, I did this. I started to think because the video had a lot of views. Why are people drawn to this type of stuff versus there are YouTube channels where people put out really good functional business advice and they barely get any views. Yet someone shows up with a Ferrari, a Lambo, and then they just start putting out stuff, general bullshit. I mean, it's, it's not gonna help you start a business. It's not gonna help you get on the grind. It'll be anything, because I'm not mentioning no names, because I'm not trying to start a YouTube beef. One of the things that I do is I fact check people, and I could not find nothing about this guy. I went to the California Secretary of State, prison, couldn't find nothing. It was just like, started these companies and in these industries, no specifics whatsoever, nothing. Then the guy he had on the show, he gave up two websites, went to one website, it wasn't even up. And then another website, it was cheap and i did a similar web search and if you didn't know what similar web is similar web is how you can estimate a website's traffic and typically if you put the website in there and nothing comes up they're not getting a lot of traffic that was the case with this and i was just sitting there like why do people fall for this stuff and i begin to think people don't know what they don't know because like i was sitting there like watching this video waiting for the jewels waiting for and i got absolutely nothing it was a inspirational story you know it's nice to see people rolling around in a ferrari but there was no nuggets on how to get the ferrari kind of like omni and the hellcat and i know some of you love this dude and i'm going to get into why that there's this love it, it was like, there, there's no information whatsoever to help you start a business. Like me, you can document me, you can Google me, you will find stuff, you will find my books, you will find my website, you go to the Secretary of State, you will find out I have real businesses. One of the frustrations of this channel is I put out real actionable business advice and people don't flock to it the way that they flock to stunting. Omni and the Hellcat. Every day I'm buying a Ferrari. I'm going to the bank in the cash, buying a Ferrari. And he, he would sit up there and you know talk about all this stuff. Guys, this is what you should do. No real functional, actionable advice. It was just general bullshit. And I'm just sitting there like, why are people primed for this type of information? And I begin to ponder and I begin to go back to when I was a normal human being because I'm abnormal, I'm atypical. I'm not a normal person in today's society. And I was like, when I was normal, would this have appealed to me? And I began to think when I was in the military and I was reading these magazines and I would buy all of these scam products at the back of the magazine because I was a normal person and I didn't know any better. And I was like, you know what? Absolutely. I would have been hook, line, and sinker because I didn't know any better. Because like I said, I'm just sitting here like, I want to do a real businessman reacts to this video so bad, so bad. Because one of the things that happens in life is your education, your formal education and your informal education are very important. And this is why I can look at this stuff with these entrepreneur eyes and go like, that ain't it, that ain't gonna work. That's not gonna help you. They're not really telling you anything. They're not giving you any nuggets. And I read the comments and people are just like, lapping it up like with the big spoon and you know it, it gets really really frustrating to see that people are being misled and that's the reason for the thumbnail because like this one guy i could not find anything out about his past nothing he just came on the scene with a bunch of supercars and a nice house i don't know because the house could be rented i don't know if he owns this house and i should have went and did a property search because i didn't do that so i don't know if he owns the house or not looks like damn brazilian he was renting this 200 million dollar house for two hundred thousand dollars a month that's another example of people love the stunting and i'm going back to when i was a normal person i was working hard I wasn't really getting anywhere, wasn't hitting on nothing. 
And then I saw something that was inspirational and I bought all these, I, I, I bought all these multiple scam products that was like, yeah, you do this. And they were 100% scams. And I was like, why did I buy those scam products? Because I didn't know any better. I was operating on hope. I remember I got out of the military. I got this job, which was, I'm not gonna say it was a scam. It was just extremely hard. And I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I was gonna be a salesman. I thought I was gonna be making all this money. And it didn't happen. It just didn't happen. I look back at who I was back then, because that's where I have to go to understand you guys. Because I see some of you guys commenting on some of these scammer videos. And I'm just like, really? And you know, some of you have left me because I don't lie. I give you the unvarnished truth. I tell you it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult, but I tell you it's going to be worth it. And so many people want to hear a pretty lie than the harsh truth. And that's one of the realities. Cause like I was just watching this and I was just like, this is, this is BS. This is why I call it the attraction matrix, because this is the best way to get money out of people on the internet is to show up with a Lambo, a Hellcat, and some platitudes of talks and show you living the good life. Uh, this guy was doing a video with someone I personally know. She is a trip. She is a 100% trip. I've known this chick 12 years. I was sitting there like, okay, this makes sense because I know what she's about. I actually know her. And the fact that those two are friends also makes a lot of sense because Lambos are nice. I have two luxury vehicles myself. They're nice, but how is a driving a luxury vehicle and representing a luxury vehicle in your videos going to help you get that luxury vehicle? Because this is one of the things I see video after video after video where they're just talking in these circles and platitudes that they never actually tell you anything, never tell you nothing, nothing. I have to remember who I was many years ago when I was prey to these scams. I was an average person. I didn't have much financial sophistication. I had no business sophistication. I knew nothing. I was just a good person, hardworking. I was out there trying to live my life. And I was just trying to climb a little bit. And until I started getting real mentors, Earl Nightingale gave me plenty of game. Uh, Dr. Joseph E. Murray gave me plenty of game. Once I started to study proper literature, proper personal development stuff. This is when I started to make moves. This is when I started to climb out that hole. But as long as I was fascinated by these shiny objects, these fancy cars, these slick ads, and I, I dropped much money on this stuff, much money. There is a difference. And one of the reasons I'm doing this video is when you watch this stuff, ask yourself, why are you attracted to someone? You can't Google their background. You can, you get, you go to Google, you find nothing about these people. They have cars and we all know that, you know, Grant Cardone, he has a t-shirt. You can't rent a jet because there's so many people renting Lambos. Uh, there was this guy, Jeff Logan. He did the video and he said he was tired of renting Lambos. He wanted to get his company to the point where he can afford one for real. I much respect Jeff Logan, much respect. It, it's like the people who give you the real information just don't get the views. They just don't get the views. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of surprised at how well Savage Finance is doing. I have a problem with Savage Finance right now because I did that video talking about no free. And people want the no credit check, high limit credit cards, even though their personal financial habits are trash. Ask yourself, why do you have a low credit score? You didn't pay your bills. Did you pay your bills so you have an emergency? Did something bad happen? Or did you just pay your bills because you were careless and you were sloppy with your finances? In this environment, you're not going to get big boy credit limits without with a low FICO score. It ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen. And it's not going to happen with a low income. Part of what I'm pushing, I'm pushing financial literacy. I'm pushing how to look and read businesses because like I saw this video and I was just disgusted. And the channel is growing like gangbang gusters because it's a lot of Omni and the Hellcat type stuff. I, I have to think, okay, Glenda, go way back when you were poor and unsophisticated. Go back to that time and watch these videos from that vantage point. And then it's like, oh yeah, I'm on that. I want some of that. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, this is what success looks like. I want you guys to know that this is not what success looks like. One of the things that's very interesting is Manny Corbishan. He's out in California. He has a YouTube channel and he has like this $30 million supercar collection. Manny 
actually is a real business person. You can Google Manny. You can Google Manny's projects and you could, you could actually find out a lot of stuff about Manny. Manny just seems like a guy you want to hang out with because he's just like, this is my life. Manny's got the house, he's got the cars, he's got the wife, but he has a very real business. There's a real business that you can Google and find. That's one of the disturbing things because Manny is like one in a million. You cannot find out anything about these guys. Part of what I have to think about is when I came on YouTube and it was funny, people were fact checking me left and right. One dude actually called up here to Atlanta because he knew some storage auction people and they verified that I was real. It is, it's amazing how hard I get fact checked, but these fantasy hustlers, y'all don't even look up what they're doing. You're just like, okay, you got a Lambo, you got a mansion. That's all I need to know. Even though he ain't teaching me nothing. And I, I, I see the comments like, yeah, thanks for dropping me the game. And it's kind of like Robin Hood. Like Robin Hood is one of the biggest financial brokerages, but the average Robin Hood investor only has $5,000 in their account compared with almost $200,000 for E-Trade. The stunting brings a different kind of crowd because there's so many people that feel that they're gonna cheat their way to wealth or they're gonna hack their way to wealth or there's gonna be some simple, easy, deployable strategy where they can get a gang of money for not really doing that much. I was doing this sugar baby re re research and like, I actually tell these chicks the truth. I was like, well, sweetheart, you're a product and you're trying to sell a product and you're doing the piss poor job of selling you as a product. You don't even want to meet without being paid. I'm like, I get blocked because I tell them, it's like, yo, ya ya ain't worth what you think it is. And the marketplace is going to reveal that to you in time. Because like I said, I, I got a video on Manifest Desto, the, the Destiny talking about why you should never be a sugar daddy. Many of these girls are just trying to cheat men out of their money. This one girl, she got $50,000 out of this dude and she didn't want to meet him. And she lied and said she was sick when she was. Just the outright duplicity that comes with this whole journey that she lied. I, she's like, I didn't want to go see him. You know, I, I wasn't going to see him. You know, how do I get out of this? But give me the money. And this is how many of you are acting like sugar babies. I don't want to do the work. I don't want to research. I don't want to educate myself, but give me that money. And I'm here to tell you, it ain't going to work. It's not going to work. I'm going to do a better job of marketing myself because I did learn some stuff, but I want to the marketing to be congruent of who I am, what I do, and what I represent. I'm just seeing all of these people like, you know, Wesley, billionaire virgin, his commercials, dude's making money. And this stuff ain't gonna work. It's just not gonna work. Because essentially when someone comes up to you and they tell you a methodology, but they never get into specifics of what they're doing. Just like this one guy who was doing these stock trades. It's like, let's do this little simple stock trade. I did this trade, I got some money, and he's only charging $27. $27 for a product that can get you 11 to $20,000 a month. You know how unrealistic that is? People don't know what they don't know. And this is why so many people fall for these scams. I, I see why CoffeeZilla's channel is growing and this other guy's channel is growing. There are so many scams out there that will not help you. A lot of my free information is better than these paid scams. Way better, because if you do the work, you will get results. I'm looking at why people get scammed because human nature hasn't changed in 2000 years. And and you have so many people who are in their primal bank brain because like culture, like the, the Dodge Hellcat thing. It's a fast car. Okay, I don't really like them. No pill to me. But there's a certain culture that appreciates the Hellcat. And this is the same culture that falls for these scams. And I'm not going to be um, disrespectful and say these people are stupid because they're not stupid. They're uninformed and uneducated and they don't know what they don't know. And I, I'm just sitting here like, it was painful for me to watch this video. I watched, I didn't even watch the whole video. I'm be honest, because it was like a 44 minute long video. I only watched like 20 minutes of it because I heard nothing that I can relate to from starting businesses from scratch. Nothing, I didn't hear nothing about marketing. I didn't hear anything about client acquisition. I heard nothing, it's just sprinkle this little hustle dust on whatever you're doing and it's gonna work out. I was like, that's bullshit. And then when the guy who had this website, so I go to his websites, one of them ain't even up. I'm like, you're making all this money, how? 
How are you making all this money? What exactly are you doing? You see, one thing is an online educator, I know people need simplicity. And this is one of the reasons that I'm building out my course the way that I'm building it out in plain English and being very direct and giving people stuff that they can sink their teeth into. I, I'm just sitting here like a completely amazed, but once again, I have to keep telling myself I am educated. I am financially literate. I know what it takes to start a business from scratch. I know the information and it wasn't in this video. I have to keep slapping myself like, dude, you know better. They don't, they really don't know better. And this is one of the reasons I'm doing this video is when someone comes up to you with, um, cause there's been many YouTube channels built with fancy cars. And I will say real motivation actually gives you some good jewels. But once again, his channel isn't that big and he isn't growing like steroids because he gives you real information. And when you guys get real information and realize you gotta work, that's like a big turnoff. So many people just like these disillusional sugar babies that feel that there is a simple, easy, where you don't have to put a lot of effort into it, way to get money. I'm here to tell you it doesn't exist. Stop deluding yourself. Stop looking for simple answers to complex problems. If you are poor, if you are broke, that is a complex problem that will not be solved with some easy solutions. I, I was having this conversation with someone that um, we're dating and essentially I put her on the budget and I, I give her credit because she actually listens to me and within just a month, her financial life has started to turn around and she's like, wow, this stuff really works. And I say it works because you listen to me and you're doing the work. Cause I, I put up all kinds of receipts. I got a receipt of someone that sent me a $44,000 check. Like, thanks you bro for all the information you put out. See th this whole notion of getting rich without doing a lot of work is a beautiful fantasy. It, it's amazing. Now, once you get the company built and put the right people in the company, yeah, you can lay back and chill and be home with your wife and kids. But that building phase, nah, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. You're gonna be working. You're gonna be working. You're gonna be working. And there are so many people who are like, I'm too pretty to work. Pretty Ricky, I'm too pretty to work. I can't get my hands dirty. And there are so many people who are selling you garbage, selling you hacks, selling you trash courses that are not going to improve your financial position. It's not, because they're scams. And this guy, and they were just talking, because I understand the appeal of, because this is why television works. Um, like Sex in the City, she lived in an apartment that in real life, if she was working that job, she couldn't afford. So a lot of fantasy is sold to people. And once again, I have to keep reminding myself, they don't know any better. They don't know any better. They don't really know what to look for. They don't know what questions to ask. They really don't know any better. And this is why so many people get these bitter tastes in their mouth when they buy a product and they don't get no results. Cause it was, they didn't know what to look for. They didn't understand what to look for. Cause like with my corporate toolbox right now, I'm telling you the stuff and I'm, I'm being really repetitive in the marketing section because that's the stuff that's going to make you money. And it ain't easy, it's thankless. Sometimes it's boring, sometimes it's a pain in the butt, but that's the stuff that makes your company money. It ain't sexy, it ain't glamorous, it ain't easy. That's what makes you money. I send out emails virtually every day cause it works. It ain't glorious, it's not some secret hack, but I send out an email every day every day I get sales. It's just like that. There's a direct correlation between your marketing and yourself. So my corporate toolbox product on Facebook, that's not where the audience is. You know, I'll, I'll test that a little bit later. I'm going straight to LinkedIn. I'm not even doing YouTube until later, if ever, because I already know what people, what does well on YouTube. Forex courses, drop shipping courses, Amazon FBA courses, all of these things that promise an amazing return for little to no effort. That's what does well here on YouTube. And I'm, I'm not, I'm like, I'm telling you, anything you take, you don't have to work. Cause going back to this conversation, when I was giving away those 19 free business courses, even though they were free, it took work to go through the courses and to execute. And 98% of the people who signed up for those courses, they didn't open up one course then open up one course because they had to work. And so many people are trying to avoid work. I had someone that reached out to me that wanted to do a collaboration. And I'm very, very picky about who I do collaboration because this guy is cool, but see for him to work with me, it would have been way more benefit for him working with me than me working with him. I wouldn't have got no benefit out of the partnership whatsoever. None whatsoever. And I don't really do those kind of deals. And you know, he got mad because I didn't respond to that email. It, 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 it's just, whew. 
you know, it, it, it's, it's cray cray. It's cray cray out here in the world. In business and in life, you've got to execute. Execution is everything, which means you got to go through the course and then you have to follow the prompts in the course and execute. Because there are many people who buy courses and once they figure out they got to work, they just kind of like, ah, leave it alone. And that's one of the things, America, you got to work. You got to work. I mean, it's going to be hard. There's not going to be anyone to push you or spring you on or urge you on unless you get a really good mentor and mentors are hard to come by mentors good mentors are good luck if you get one good luck because like i said this girl i'm dating you know she's very attractive she's very submissive and she actually listens to me she listens to me and you know i, I say this at the risk of being an elitist motherfucker if you listen to me and you don't try to outthink me you don't try to think that you're smarter than me because if you were smarter than me You'd be living in a million dollar house with a portion of BMW in your garage and cash money in the bank in the business that provides you six figures of cash flow per month. If that ain't your life, you are not smarter than me, the elitist motherfucker speaking. And there are so many of you who feel that you had a little trading success. Really? I mean, I, I beat down one guy. I was like, I showed him proof. I like, I make more in a month with my business than you make in two or three years with your investment. In a month, really, 10 years, based on what his returns. And you know, I get all this pushback because people are lazy, they don't wanna work. But see, sooner or later, that's gonna catch up with you because one day you're gonna get old and you're gonna look back at your life and you're gonna be like, oh my God, what did I do? And you're gonna be eating cat food and you're gonna be living in a home by yourself because you didn't wanna listen to someone who was smarter, richer, and better than you because of your ego. I hope your ego will provide you some cash in your old age, because that's all you're gonna have. I'm just stating facts, because right now, Dave Ramsey did this, rate, this rant. People liquidated $12 billion out of their 401ks. They essentially have set them back themselves back 10, 20 years by doing that. Maybe more, depending on how much money they took out. Because essentially with investing, and I have a video on Savage Finance talking about investing, your gains come in the later years, but you gotta have that starting point. And you know, I'm just sitting there like, you know, people are not gonna have any money. People are gonna be in a really bad situation. This is the message for you. If you want to do some real business building, get enroll in the corporate toolbox, and I'm gonna teach you how to set up your corporate entity. I'm gonna teach you how to make it tax efficient. And then where the real, cooking with gas is how to start a business and get customers. Without a customers, you don't have no business. And that's what we go into. And as I start my paid advertising on LinkedIn, I will put that in the corporate toolbox showing you the results and what to do and what not to do. So you can get in for $3,500. The price is going up in November. You could get in for 150 bucks a month. Once again, that, you know, for 30 months, that price is going to change as well. That's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video, links below.